there everyone and welcome to the first of what hopefully will be many Java programming tutorials for you guys to take something away and learn a new programming language and basically we need to start off with what every programmer starts off with now this is called the hello world application if you've already done Java and you haven't started off with this then you're going down the completely wrong path because this is like the basics of Java this is the substance of Java and this is where you learn what all these variables mean and all the different types of variables you can get etc but today we're just going to be focusing on that main bit and what I've done for you guys is I've actually made a presentation so if you don't want to watch this video again for any reason you can download the presentation and it has everything that I've talked about during this video with pictures and hopefully that will give you guys um, another aspect of learning so normally when you program Java you have to start with a text editor and you need JDK as well. Now JDK is a free uh, development kit from the Sun website and in order for a Java file to be executed it has to be compiled into a class file and this is where the JDK comes in. Now the JDK stands for Java Development Kit and you'll see later on what I'm talking about but computer programs and especially Java virtual machines they do not read .java files they can only execute class files and for that reason we need the JDK to compile the Java file into a class file so let's start off and what you want to do is you just want to go to Google and you want to type in Java JDK now it is the first link and all you have to do is just click download where it says Java platform JDK over here and then it will give you a list of installer packages that you could use depending on which operating system you're using. Now you want to accept the license term agreement so you're able to download it and since I'm using a 64-bit Windows system I will be downloading the Windows x86 package and I'm not going to download this because I've already downloaded it and installed it. I'm just going to show you guys how to um, edit the environment variables so that you can access the bin from anywhere in CMD. So Go ahead and download whichever one you have, depending this is 32 bits and this is 64 bit. And then after you've done that and installed it, you want to click on Start, right click on Computer, click on Properties, and then wait for that window to load. Once it's there, you want to click on Advanced System Settings. Now, I'll just put this to one side to show you guys why I just did that. So, once you have JDK installed, you should have a directory such as this one, sorry, let me just find it quickly, such as this one with the bin and this will include all the Java development tools that we need in order to compile and run our program. Now the Java compiler is known as Javac or Java C in this one and this is what we're going to be using to turn the Java.java .java files into class files and then from the class files we'll be using the actual Java virtual machine to execute it. Now, the reason I've brought up this window is because if I show you guys an example, you want to open up CMD because that's where all the compiling is going to happen and that's where all the executing is going to happen until I introduce you guys to another program, which is much better in my opinion, but this is for old, old school people. And what you want to do is you just want to type in Javac. And you'll see that Javac is not a recognized as an internal or external command, but it is obviously in your install directory. Now, if we would want to use Javac without including it in the environmental variables, then we're going to have to tell CMD to change the directory all the way to this path. And that can sometimes be a long story and time consuming and all of that. So what you want to do is you just want to go to your Java JDK bin and copy the directory at the top of your Windows Explorer. Then you want to go to the System Properties, Advanced System Settings and you want to click on Environmental Variables. This will bring up a new window and here this is just a variable which allows your CMD to access the Java environment from any directory. So what you want to do is you just want to click New. Now the name has to be Path with a capital P-A-T-H and the variable value will be the directory of your Java bin. In my case, it's C, Program Files x86, Java, JDKs, depending on your version of Java, and then bin. And you just press OK, OK, and OK again. Now you'll notice that if we move back into CMD and we type Javac, 
sorry, my bad. And if we type Javac now, you'll see that a list of Java compiler um, options come up. Now this means that our Java compiler is ready to use and we can begin programming. So now what you need to do is you have your Java JDK installed and now you need a text editor. Now by, by default most people use Notepad but if I open Notepad and show you guys the difference between this and the one I use. If you look at Notepad++ it's much cleaner, it's much more polished and you can have tabs of stuff where that here you have to open windows and if you're writing lines of code in this one it actually displays line numbers and sets out the code neatly and highlights the important variables etc etc so what you guys can do is you can just go on google once again and you just have to type in notepad plus plus and it's the first one notepad plus plus.org and just download that and once you have downloaded that you can continue with the tutorial so now you've got your Notepad++ and you've got your Java development kit, so you're ready to start coding your first Java program. Now, most developers start off with the Hello World application. Now this is one of the most important applications, obviously, because this is the starting knowledge that you need to know, and you need to know what's going on in this application before you can actually further in Java and apply yourself in other aspects when it comes to creating buttons, and etc. So what you want to do is you just want to open up your Notepad++ and once you've done that, you first want to save the file. So you click on File and Save As. Now I've made a directory in my C drive called Java so that it is easier for me to compile it and I suggest you guys do the same. You can call the directory whatever you want but I've called it Java in this case. And what you want to do is you just want to click on Save As Type and go to All Types. Now you can call this file whatever you want, but I recommend you always call it what the um, the name of the program that you're writing about. So in this case, we are writing the hello world dot hello world dot Java, and as you can see, I've already had it, so I will overwrite it and replace it. Yes. Okay. So now we have our Java file, but we also know that Java cannot be read by the virtual machine, and it has to be converted into a class file, which is where Javac comes in. But first we have to write our code, and with every time you start off Java, it has to contain a class. Now your class is simply done by just typing in class, and then whatever name you want. It could be Hello World, it could be Bobby, it could be whatever you want. You can be creative, okay? But for this case, I'm just going to keep it Hello World, because it's the program we are writing about. And we're going to do two curly brackets. Now, these curly brackets are very important, otherwise your code will not work. For every one of these open curly brackets, you have to have a closed curly, curly bracket, and it is essential, because if you get an error somewhere, then that means you haven't got enough cu um, closed curly brackets for every open curly bracket. So once you've done that, you can actually start coding your program. Now, we've called our program whatever we wanted to, and we've developed the class name called Hello World. Now, just starting off in Java, we need to always define the body of the program. Now the body is defined by public static void main open brackets string args square bracket close square bracket close bracket and then the curly brackets once again. Now I will explain to you guys what this does. Now firstly you see public. Public means that anywhere the code can access what's in this statement so any part of this file can access what's in the statement of this main body static means that the java virtual machine will execute the program automatically so once you compiled it and you've run it it will automatically execute um, your code void means that after the code has been executed it will not return any values so normally um, functions do return values but void means that the function will not return any values and main this is the methods where our code will go and this is where we tell the program what to do now whatever code we put in here the program will execute but whatever code we put outside it the program will not execute unless we reference it so it will only execute once it's referenced now string args just means that whatever code is in the main class 
can only be strings. So this is your alphabet, letters, all of that stuff. And for numbers, there's a different line of code which we need to use. So we know what the first line does now. And so we can write our Hello World application. So to write our Hello World application, you type in system dot out dot print ln open brackets speech marks close brackets and a colon semicolon sorry and what this does is this tells the system to produce a message and then whatever our message so let's say hello world so in this case we are telling that the system must produce a message on a line called hello world and this is where our first Java application has been developed. Now what you want to do is you want to save this. And once it's saved, you want to open up command prompt. Just go to start. For Vista and Windows 7 users, you just type in CMD. And if you're using Windows XP, you click on start and then run over here. And then just type in CMD, same way we have here. So once you've done that, you want to type in cd and then backslash and this will direct you to your c drive this is it will pass all the drives and it will automatically go to your c drive with no directories now once you're in your c drive you want to type in dir and dir will just give you a list of all the files and folders within the directory so the, remember the directory you created earlier that's going to contain your java file and your class file in my case it's a java so i'm going to type in cd c two dots and then backslash java and that will put me in the java directory so now once i'm in the java directory if i open it in the windows explorer for you guys you see what i mean i will have let me just delete that i will have the hello world.java file now as you know if we try to run the hello world.java file it would not work. So to run a file, we type in he uh, Java hello world dot Java, and as you can see, it comes up with an error and an exception. Could not find the main class. Now this is because, like I said before, Java does not execute Java files. It can only execute class files. So once we are in our Java directory, you can type in dir for directory again. And here you will see our hello world.java application. Now once you see the hello world.java application or whatever you call the dot java, you type in javac, which means the Java compiler, and then your file name dot java and just hit enter. And once that's done, it will just um, take you back to the root directory. Now you can see that it didn't say successful or failed or compiled or something like that. If there's no errors, that means it has successfully compiled and you've made a class file. So if I just open up that folder once again, you can see hello world dot class file. Now this is executable by Java Virtual Machine, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So to execute a class file, you type in Java and then the name of the file. So in our case, it's hello world. You don't need to put dot class, otherwise it will return an error. We just need to type in the name of our class. So our class name in this instance is hello world. So once you click enter, you will see that it says hello world. Now I'm sorry for this little error thing. You would not get this because my PC messed up a couple of days ago and I did some dodgy things. And so this keeps turning up every time. But if you've done it the correct way, you'll see the message hello world or whatever message you typed. And this means you've successfully programmed your first Java program. So thank you for listening, guys. I hope you have found this useful. There will be a PowerPoint in the description explaining everything I've gone through today. I'll put links in the description to Notepad++ and obviously the JDK. And hopefully you guys will be with me in the future for more Java tutorials. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.